Hey, do you love beer, but you're trying to go sober for a couple of days, a week, a month, six months, a year, five years, forever? But you still want that nice, crisp, refreshing, carbonated beverage going down your gullock, into your belly, but you don't want the buzz? Then I've found one of the best options for you. All right, well, thanks for sticking around. I'm gonna crack this beer open, I already did. Should've done it on camera, but you heard it. Bush beer, Anheuser-Busch. But this is the non-alcoholic beer. Let's get the pouring. Got in my Pilsner glass by, made by Printer's Ale here in Valdosta, close to Valdosta, not Valdosta, somewhere near Douglasville, Georgia. It's got a nice little, some nice color to it. You see the bubbles, looks pretty good. Try to top that off, it looks, look at that nice foamy head right there. Well, if you're trying to go sober this uh, November or December or Maybe it's you're, you're watching this in January and it's a New Year's resolution. I commend you going so, I've gone sober many times and I always love those times. I highly recommend it, whether it's for health reasons, for melt, melt, mental reasons, <laughs> mental health reasons or whatever, just giving a break. It's nice to go on breaks from stuff. Here we go, first sip's the one that counts when you're thirsty. <coughs> smells good, you can tell it's a non-alcoholic, just from the smell. Yeah, super light, very, very light. Definitely getting that carbonation. It is refreshing. You're getting mild sweetness. I don't know if it's from corn or I have no idea. Don't quote me on that. It's that usual taste that you get in traditional like old duels. It's not so much the amber, but the, the Pilsner, which is not bad. This is not definitely not the worst. I'm gonna have the link in the description of the video. Go check out my Budweiser Zero review. That one is done very well. People are loving it. So go check that one out. That one's still to date, at least I reviewed is the best non-alcoholic beer. Anyway, back to the bush. By the way, this is a, not a 0%, this is 0 0.5, less than 0 0.5 alcohol by volume. So, I mean, usually for a beer like this, a beer like this should, should, as long as you've had food, should curb your craving, should curb your craving for a beer. Because I know you beer drinkers, we beer drinkers, we love beer. Beer is kind of almost like a meal because of the calories and the carbs. God, I love beer and it's one of the toughest things to give up. I, I don't need wine, I don't need liquor, I don't need cocktails and all that. Beer is just so different. But yeah, but this is this is pretty solid. I highly recommend it. For a non-alcoholic beer, I think I gave Budweiser Zero a 8.9? I think I gave it an 8.9. This, I will probably give a 7.8. I'll give it a 7.8. I think Odul's, the regular one, still might be better. Just, it has a little more carbs. This is pretty light. But in terms of flavor, it, it's really good. You can't go wrong. So if you're trying to go sober for whatever amount of time, great option. But yeah, definitely give it a shot and please subscribe. I mainly do food reviews, but I do plenty of beer reviews. If you want me to review more non-alcoholic -al beers, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments below. I'll gladly do it because there are plenty out there that I have not tried and I would love to try it, especially if it helps you make a decision if you want to go sober. So I'll see you on the next review. Oh yeah, that's refreshing. <laughs>